Megan, welcome to Gustav Making Stuff. Who are you going to show? Upgrades on the Copy Master 50 in Tampa Lightning. For this, you need the stepper dampeners and some additional plastic sheets and two more screws. First, first of all, I just want to say that you should actually buy one of these and attach them instead. It's a way better solution. But if you don't, this has actually worked for several months now. So, first, what you do is you remove the belt from the back side. And then you remove all the electricity from the side there and remove the cover. And now you see that you have to remove the string there to actually get this thing off. And now you're going to have to release the stepper motor in its entirely. And you see this fits right there on it. There's a one side with a little bit of an edge there. That's one you need to have to the hole. And then you're just going to put all the screws back again. This is actually the same kind of Allen keys that I think they call Allen keys that are uh, with the machine comes with itself. And then we're just going to attach them back again. Uh, they come with additional screws, this um, this um, set up over there. Now you see I added some space there. I think it's about three millimeters or something. That's the gap that's going to be created by moving the the gear there. As I said, I recommend you having a proper gear. But this actually keeps it in touch and in line because it actually sits by friction. So you can also have a longer shaft on there if you don't no but make sure to make his measurement so it will be straight this is a little bit difficult and if you have done something a little bit wrong you can always put a little bit of a uh, spacer between it there which I'm doing here as I said this setup has worked for several months to me until the very delayed gears arrived but now you see, you're just gonna uh, attach everything and see that it don't uh, vibrate too much. So make sure to align everything. Now, this is the the other uh, stepper motor that tells the bed. You just remove the metal holder thing. Like, they look like this. I don't know the name of it in English, but look at this. And make sure to collect them on the same place if you want to uh, go back and redo this. So now we can just remove the the little holder for the gears and make sure to not lose them and then we're going to remove the belt. You can also remove the belt by removing it from the other side. And also make sure that we have, this is after I have uh, put on the the, the, the dampeners uh, here, because you need to move it in place before you put uh, the dampeners on, because it will be much easier. And then we just attached it back and screw it together. This is a little bit difficult to get under the, the gear there to push it forward if you have aligned it wrong, so make sure to make a lot of measurements and now you see the problem is that you cannot attach it back so that's why we have this plate here and the two screws that I mentioned in the beginning to hold it in place this is still working for me because the other gear has not arrived yet so this has been working for several months and very many many long prints so it is a very good solution that actually works I wouldn't rely on it on the long term but uh, it has worked for me at least so I would not say that this is any insurance at all. Do this on your own risk. And now we turn it on and see if it would print with these modifications. You see, the machine is quite noisy as it is, but that's still okay. But from the last video I did, you will hear it. And now we will see what it sounds like. It is way less noisier, and I like that. 
but there's some kind of high pitched thing still going on. But well, see if we can fold that some way. So, as these things print, I must say that you can actually talk in this room before when I had to have my uh, earmuffs on. But then, improvements! So, what you need is this part that can be 3D printed, and I will leave a link to that in the, the description. So, there we go, and then we'll also need some all the little oddly shaped nuts and bolts that you have laying around will now be having a good use for it. As you see here, I have screwed them almost in there. First of all here, we're going to remove this little cover here on the machine and just slip in this thing. It needs to be a little bit tight, so you probably have to adjust it a little bit. Like there, very nice. This can also be done with tea nuts, but uh, it's not quite necessary if you don't have them. And we're gonna have that also upstairs. We are going to use the same thing there by sliding it in from the side. And now we are going to attach this thing here. Uh, like that. You see, it will be very firmly in place there. And then we're doing the same thing on the upstairs there. And also now putting the holder there for the uh, long bar so it will look like this and now we're going to put that in there and uh, now we actually have to cut it a little bit because it was a little bit too long but now it will be a very good uh, C2 uh, Z2 Y axle uh, holder here and it's gonna be firmly secured with some tightening of these nuts here and now you see there is better stability for the whole machine here and yeah I just put this uh, straps here so it wouldn't come off if it starts to vibrate too much you see you can make some music with it so I hope this improvements on the machine that might be um, suitable for other machines also but uh, at least it was some inspiration then. Well, see you in the next one. Bye.